people no, that the no. out of the land. But as I often say, it's one thing to speak for words, and it's another thing to respect the values that we have discarded, that the Gadigal people and all indigenous people of the world have continued. Values of cooperation and respect of land. Now, last week, earlier this week, I was speaking at a Meet the Candidates meeting in Glebe Town Hall, and the topic was quite closely framed to exclude to exclude discussion of refugees, but I made a point of beginning my speech in saying how abhorrent it was to go to an election where the only choice to be faced between two possible governments was between bad and worse. I said it was abhorrent. And I said personally, I take it personally, as a child, as a family, as a family that came to Australia as migrants, seeking a better life, seeking better economic conditions, seeking safety. I, I came here with papers on a boat, but I had papers, but I don't consider myself to be one bit more legitimate coming to this country seeking a better life. And I defy, I defy people in this country, most of whom are descended from migrants or who are migrants themselves, to say that they have any more right to be here than these poor desperate people which we are locking up in detention camps and sending to Nauru and sending to Manus Island today. I noticed when I was speaking that the sitting member for Sydney, Tanya Plebisek, was looking very deeply into her lap. And so were a few other Labour Party people in the room looking at their laps. And finally, when they did get, she get, got the chance to speak, she said, there has been a lot of emotive language being used about refugees in this meeting. I think she was referring to me and to Diane Hiles, the Greens candidate who had spoken earlier and taken a similar stand on this question, emotive language. It was the emotive language we were using, she said, but really, she was concerned. She was concerned about those people drowning on the way to Australia. Oh, that is the fig leaf. That is the fig leaf for racist, inhuman, cruel policies that they love to use today. A fig leaf, that's what we should call it out for. After the meeting, after the meeting, a few Labour Party members came up to me and said, I, I really strongly agree with you on the question of refugees. And they said so with a look of shame on their face. And it reminded me of another shameful election, 2001, the Tamper election. Do you remember that horrible day, those of you who were around in the streets and around old enough to, to remember that day? Now, something happened that day that it reminded me of after a long day at the polling booth. You know, it was November. The sun was still up in the dust, and we were trudging home, me and my partner, with all our paraphernalia after a whole day of polling. And somewhere in a back street of Newtown, we came across a leader of the left of the ALP, whose name shall be none, uh, left unmentioned at present, at the time, a senior leader of the Labour Party. And there he was, and he walked with us for a little while down the lane, wringing his hands and saying, oh, perhaps we should have done the right thing. Perhaps we should have chosen that and risked losing the election. Ring, 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 as he walked down the road. <laughs> well, we know what happened in that election. John Howard won that election. He won the election while the bombs were falling in Afghanistan. Bombs falling, killing people, killing innocent people. So many that nobody has bothered to count. And since then there has been the invasion of Iraq and there has been even more hysteria on refugees. It is outrageous. And I remember that day. And I think there is a lesson to be learned from all this. And this is what I want to end on. Shoulder to shoulder. It was considered. That was Gisley's policy at the time, shoulder to shoulder. Well, there's only one possible future if you have shoulder to sh go shoulder to shoulder uh, in crime, and that is there will be more crime. There will be more horrendous crimes in the future. Let us learn the lesson from this, and let us now say with a loud voice, not in our name, not in our name, free, free the refugees. Free, free. Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Free, free the refugees! Thank you very much.